guys. I'm out here in the garage playing around with my new toy. And this time I don't mean the Garage Works CNC uh, 4x4. What I'm talking about is I got a, uh, I finally got a, a smooth stepper. I've been wanting to get one of those for a long time and uh, just never have got one. But uh, I finally broke down and, and, and got one this past week and I've been trying it out. And let me kind of turn the camera around and I can show you a little closer look at this thing. Okay, this is what I was talking about, the smooth stepper. It's nothing more than a little uh, printed circuit board. Uh, I've got a 5-volt uh, power supply. Just buy those for about 5 bucks off of Amazon or wherever. Uh, cut the end of it off and then put, put those leads in here in the screw terminal. Uh, the one I bought is an Ethernet uh, smooth stepper. So I've got an Ethernet cable running from the uh, port here on my laptop to uh, this board here. And then I've got a ribbon cable that I've got plugged into port one that uh, allows me to attach a 15 foot uh, parallel cable just like I would on my parallel port on my old computer. Uh, and run it to the controller, the Xylotex controller. And uh, like I said, I wish I had bought one of these a long time ago. I've been wanting to do this because I know I have a lot of people when they start asking me about the different kits, whether it's the one they're building out of plywood or one of these or whatever, they always ask about what kind of computer it takes. And, you know, I've always said in the past, you know, try to find an old computer. And it's still a good deal if you can find an old uh, desktop or something at Goodwill or you know yard sale or something like that. If it's got a parallel port there's nothing wrong with running it that way. But a lot of the newer computers, particularly laptops, do not have the old uh, big parallel port like this. So this makes it pretty cool and you notice uh, if you remember from the other video I had my desktop sitting here while well, I've taken that back to the shop to connect it back to my other uh, CNC where it belongs. Uh, and now I'm able to just uh, run this one with the laptop, which is really cool. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go into the details of how, uh, you know, how to configure this and all that because the Warp 9 people that, uh, that make this uh, smooth stepper, they've got great videos and, and instructions and that's how I did it. It was really no problem at all. The only problem I had was really a, a dumb mistake on my part is I originally had the ribbon cable connected here and I thought that was port one and then I you know the lights were doing what they were supposed to do and it looked like everything was communicating right but I couldn't get the machine to move and like I said it kind of dumb on my part but I went back and watched that video a second time and then I realized that this is port one this is port two and this is port three and I had had everything set up to port one so I just switched it here changed the jumper the little jumper uh, thing and it started working and it's been working great so I was just kind of dry running some programs I'm gonna try to cut you know cut a few things tomorrow with it just to test it out some more but uh, just want to get on here real quick and uh, talk about my new toy which is the Warp Dines Ethernet Smooth Stepper so thanks for all my new subscribers I appreciate y'all watching um, I look forward to the woodworking show that's next weekend, not this weekend, not tomorrow, but uh, starts next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, April 1st, 2nd, 3rd. I hope there's a bunch of people that come out. I know there's going to be a lot of great YouTube uh, content creators there in the, in the booths that they've got going on uh, at the show. And I'm looking forward to meeting a bunch of those and, and, and meeting you guys too. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate y'all watching. And we'll talk to you next time.